few people ask me what the best DNA test for health is. And others are saying, how can I get the MTHFR gene tested? Well, I'm going to talk about that today. I will give you a recommendation at the end of the video, but I really just wanted to talk about a few considerations first, a few questions to ask yourself so that you can decide which DNA test is best for you. If you haven't met me before, I'm Dr. Janelle Sinclair, and on this YouTube channel we discuss natural remedies for depression and anxiety. So if that topic interests you, hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified about our new weekly content. So let's get into this video about which is the best DNA test for health. So I think the first question you need to ask yourself is, will you consult a health practitioner to help you interpret these results, or are you going to interpret the DNA results yourself? Because in general, there's two different types of genetic testing labs, and these include high-quality specialist labs that are more expensive, and consumer-based DNA ancestry testing labs. Now here in New Zealand, the high quality labs that I've used are FitGenes and SmartDNA. And I have a colleague that uses Nutrition Genome, and I know that DNA Life is also another option. The consumer-based ancestry labs that I'm aware of are 23andMe and Ancestry DNA. So the thing is that the high quality labs will only offer testing through a health practitioner. So if you want to do this all yourself, you really are limited to 23andMe and Ancestry DNA. So question number two for choosing the best DNA test for health is, can you produce a good saliva sample? Now the majority of DNA testing labs will require a saliva sample of about 2 mils. This doesn't sound like much, but for some elderly people or people with particular health conditions, it can be very difficult to produce. Also getting small children to collect saliva can be very difficult and distressing. So if you can't collect a saliva sample or you want to do the test on a small child, then 23andMe and Ancestry DNA won't be an option for you. You have to go through a health practitioner. Now some of the high quality genetic testing labs don't require a saliva sample. They use a buccal sample which you basically just scrape the inside of your cheek with something like a cotton bud or a q-tip which the company provides for you. It's very easy and quick. FitGenes and Nutrition Genome are the two companies that I know of that use a buccal sample. Question number three for choosing the best DNA test for health. So the question is, are you overly concerned about confidentiality? There has some been some concerns with confidentiality and DNA test results. I think this is a risk with all genetic testing labs, but the large consumer-based companies like 23andMe and Ancestry DNA are more likely a risk in my opinion. They are known to sell DNA data to pharmaceutical companies, but only if you're selected that you're happy with your DNA to be used for research purposes. So you can opt out of that. A few of my colleagues have suggested to concern clients that they purchase these tests under a fake name. So that is another option for you. I'll link an article below about some of the risks of DNA testing if you're interested. But let's move on to question number four for choosing the best DNA test for health. How much do you want to spend? So in New Zealand, some top quality labs charge around 500 New Zealand dollars for a genetic test. That's around 350 US dollars, but prices will most likely vary if you live elsewhere. 23andMe and Ancestry DNA cost about 99 US dollars, and they are available in New Zealand, Australia, UK, Europe, America and Canada. Keep in mind that you get what you pay for. When you buy a test from a top quality lab like FitGene, SmartDNA or Nutrition Genome, you're getting something entirely different than from AncestryDNA and 23andMe. 
That takes me to question number five for choosing the best DNA test for health. And the question is, what type of report do you want to get? Well, this is where you get what you pay for. The high quality labs have done their research. They test for and report only on genetic weaknesses that are evidence based. They usually report on 40 to 100 genetic SNPs and these genetic weaknesses are known to correlate with clinical symptoms or health conditions. These are the genetic weaknesses that have research on them and you can compensate for them too using diet, lifestyle and supplementation. The test results provided by these higher quality labs will give you a commentary on those genes and give you and your practitioner treatment guidelines. You don't get this when you buy a DNA test from Ancestry DNA and 23andMe. You do not get a report. You only get raw DNA data on tens of thousands of genetic SNPs. On one hand, that's really good because you've got that information for their future when more research comes out. But at the moment, we don't have enough scientific research on all these SNPs. So you, ha you get this raw data, but the difference is with Ancestry DNA and 23andMe that you really have to do your own research and use a third-party software tool to give you a report on the genetic SNPs. I've provided some links in the description which can help you, which teach you how to download your raw DNA data. So there's three third-party software that you can use to help process the raw data that you get from Ancestry DNA and 23andMe. So firstly, there's NutraHacker.com. It's a free service, but you can give them a donation. They have a methylation report, so you can find out about your MTHFR gene. They also have a detox and celiac report. And just keep in mind that I don't like all the treatment recommendations that they provide. Also, the second option is using the Sterling report from MTHFRsupport.com. You want the variant report and it costs 30 US dollars. It's a very extensive report um, reporting on lots of SNPs, whether they're homozygous or heterozygous, but they don't provide many treatment recommendations. It's for you to interpret. Finally, the third option that you can use is Dr. Ben Lynch's software program called Stratagene. It's very well researched and only provides information on genetic SNPs that are evidence-based. They provide a report with lifestyle and supplement recommendations and it costs 45 US dollars. So if you're asking my recommendation, if you can produce a saliva sample and you want to do this all on your own without a practitioner and you're on a budget, then I would choose Ancestry DNA and put the raw data through the Stratagene software. So that's my recommendations and if you'd like to support this YouTube channel, please consider purchasing the Ancestry DNA test through our affiliate links below in the description and also use our affiliate links for this Stratagene um, software program. I hope this information really helps you and let me know what you find. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.